All right, hi everyone. This is Jason, uh, instructor for Serial Caveman, and huge shout out to my team, Joshua, Vadan, Drew, Hudson, and Tyler. Uh, without your help, we cannot make this happen. All right, so I'm gonna, without further ado, hand it over to Josh. Andrew, the Yu-Gi-Oh card generating AI. What is Andrew? Andrew is an NLP, natural language processing artificial intelligence that uses data from real Yu-Gi-Oh cards to create a unique monster based on a name and attribute to that the user inputs. And we have two links here, one for uh, to learn more about AI text gen and one to watch a video on the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so here's our you know, generator. Um, we have you can input a monster name and you can put input a six of the seven um, attributes for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Unfortunately, there's not enough data on the divine attribute to actually make a data set out of it. So we had to scrap, uh, cut it. But um, does anyone want to uh, put something in a name and an attribute in the chat that wants to I don't know, do something or make one, I mean, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, there's our uh, example card. Yeah, so um, so we uh, we'd like someone in the audience to uh, just like send a name and an attribute in the chat, and we'll generate a monster based on that. Yeah. Uh, big chunk. I saw big chunk is in there somewhere. Uh, okay, Florida man. I don't know. Just <laughs> Jason streaming. He has to pick one. They got some funny stuff there. All right, that's too much. Okay, Florida man, what's the attribute? I don't know. No one's saying one. Uh, we got dark, light, fire, water, earth, or wind. Dark. Dark was the first one said. Just do dark. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got our little loading screen here because yes. Uh-huh. And we have Florida Man. The keep in mind the images are not generated by us, it's just picked a random one with the same attribute and uh, race. We just you have to put something for the picture, so we figured we would do that. Um they generate the description of once per turn when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one level five or higher monster from your deck to your hand. It uh generated 1300 attack and no defense, and it's level two. Um, and these cards are saved so that in the next uh, portion, the card battle, you can actually uh, fight the. It's just a CP, like a CPU. It's not a real person, but it will. You can fight with them. And they'll be used. All right, we have one more chance. One to try. We can try to generate one more. Yeah. Uh, Big Chungus. What's the attribute? All right, also give me the attribute. Fire, a bit, fire, big chungus. Fire? Yeah, that's the first one I saw. I'm going to change it to temperature to one. Oh, yeah, and the temperature is the temperature of the AI model. You just have a little slider there for that. Yeah, so that basically affects how random and how crazy the generation is. Big fire? Ooh. Uh, yeah, ooh, that's a big one. <laughs> Uh, so that's level what? Level eight. Um, it has 2,300 attack, 2,000 defense. That's a pretty beefy card. Um, has elemental hero Goka, elemental hero Bur Burstin Natrix. I don't know. I can't entirely read that, but it generated that description. All right. I can send you guys um, this picture. It just. Yeah. All right. Um, Thanks, Yeah. And then on to the next slide, which is the card battle. A slide. I don't know. Okay. So the card battle, it uses five cards that you already generated, but they aren't showing up here, but that's okay. These are already uh, generated cards. So like the way it works is your you pick a card uh, and if they're, this card's attack is higher than the card, the CPU card's defense, then uh, the player will win. But if their defense is higher than our attack, then we'll lose. So like if you played Drewy Drew. 
It's a lot of Drew Drew. The middle one. Since our attack is higher than their defense, that means we win and we have a point. We scored a point. So if you click like another one, the other jury drew, uh, since it's tied, we went also win. And then like Jason. I don't know why they made me a light fairy, but <laughs> I'll take it. Since ours is equal, we also win. So like Josh or like Lightning Tyler. Oh, my bad. Our attack is higher, so we win. And for Josh? Our Bro, we can't lose. <laughs> Do anyone you want play, to try to... Play again, if you want. See, and then we have... Oh, yeah, and it shows up the monsters that we created. I put my girlfriend's name on there, so... <laughs> Who wants to try? Give me a name. Mm. Joshua Fugate. Easy win. Jesse? Okay. Let's go. No. Pick the one with the lowest attack. Lowest attack. So 1600. I lose. Thanks. Thanks for Razor everyone. Seeker. All right, it's a draw. Did my card lose? It's all dependent on this card. Oh! Big Chunk is beat it. Let's go. All right. All right. And those are the cards that we created. The Big Chungus card is what we created earlier. Yeah, we just you created it. You made a Big Chungus card? Yeah, that's what we just created. One. So it's that's in our game. All right. So now going to how it works. So this is our process in the creation of Andrew. So our model Android uses filtered data of every Yu-Gi-Oh card to generate a completely random card which we can use in a real Yu-Gi-Oh match, as you just saw. To get our data, we filtered out all cards with the pendulum effect, which complicated the cards battle, figured out all cards which weren't monsters, organized the cards based on their attributes, and formatted the output to be what you see below. And this is the code that filters all the data to look like the output. Now we're using an uh, AI text gen to train our model using GPT Neo uh, 125M training parameters in, oh, below are the training parameters of our model. The training time of each model is around 50 minutes and the total training time is about five hours for all models, models being dark, light, fire, et cetera. We also tried training our model with 1,000 and 5,000 training steps. The issue with the 1,000 training, 1,000 step training model is that the result isn't random while the 1,000 step is so random that the generated results are incoherent. And this is our training code. <laughs> and then to generate the custom Yu-Gi-Oh card, we need to collect image assets. We use a PI, PIL to crop the image data sets from all Yu-Gi-Oh cards, categorizing them by attribute and race. Then the image assets will combine with our generated text and properties and sent to the link below to produce a custom Yu-Gi-Oh card. Now to the storage limitation, each combination of attribute and race we only collected five pictures. The system will randomly pick one out of these five pictures for generation. And this is the code that does that. And over to Josh for website design. Right, so for our website, uh, we started with an online template and built off of it. Uh, so it was like a little dashboard thing, but uh, we took out all the contents and kept it outboard. As we kept working on our project, we also implemented some CSS and JavaScript code to clean up the website as we built the card generator and card battle completely from scratch. Examples of our work on the website can even be uh, seen in the features like card gen, card battle, and even the side scrolling bar uh, you're using right now. We use multiple different uh, references and strategies in order to create the card gen slash battle that you can now see. Even the way that the battle uh, would have played out and the rules that would have been used was tested and altered until we got to our final project or product. The challenges we faced, uh, the first challenge we ran into was finding a large set of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because there's about, I want to say like 12,000 cards or something like that. Um, 5,000. 5,000, okay. That we could um, read by the AI, or that could be read by the AI. After searching, we found an Excel spreadsheet that gave us all the information we needed. It had all of the attributes we needed, all of the stats, and then it also had every single image as a URL for every single Yu-Gi-Oh card, which was super nice. 
Um, the second challenge we faced was that we didn't know what kind of AI model would work the best for the kind of project we were striving to make. Uh, the third challenge we had was creating the card battles. The, the logic of the card battles was extremely tricky and took a lot of time and dedication to properly fix. And that's us trying to spell out Yu-Gi-Oh with our bodies. <laughs> Right, so I was actually getting a screenshot so I can offer my heads up, but it works. Cool. Um, just curious here. Um, this this looks like a really fun interactive game. I mean, I love the design, um, especially like how how I think people just got into playing it. And we, I wish we had all the time in the world to play, but um, we had to keep the demo running. Question is, is, is this something you want to put out there in the internet and um, like kind of have other people play with it? Yeah, I mean, uh, if uh, possible, I think that would be awesome. Yeah, we think that, I mean, the website is definitely, we think it's pretty good. So, I mean, maybe in the future we could deploy it, have people playing, you know, make some money maybe. <laughs> well, just a Probably bit of advice. One out of all of these. This thing, this looks amazing, honestly. Thank you. Just a bit of advice: you're using Yu-Gi-Oh, so you might have to oh, watch yeah. out for trademark Copy, infringement or um, yeah, you, you might have to pay a royalty. Yu -Oh. we'll have to go modify the name a little bit. Yeah, or are you gonna uh, have to uh, instead of Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Ah. And you might have to create your own images unless you're paying uh, Yu-Gi-Oh a royalty. Yeah. All right. Cool. Any questions for this team? Um, so with all the filters of your data set, how large was your data set ultimately? So, so the data set was 5,000 cards, but after we filtered out like certain cards, after we filtered out all the cards that we didn't need, uh, I want to say it was around, what, like 4,000 ish. Oh, oh no, uh, pro it's around like 18. 100 for each model so totally it would be like 1800 multiplied by six around there were a lot of trap cards and, magic wow. cards and stuff. yeah there's a lot of right. cards and spell cards and token stuff the so. generator only generates monster cards it doesn't do yeah. like uh trap cards or spell cards or anything like that trap cards are annoying yeah that's what we thought correct going going about it so we just got rid of them all right yeah so i have a question um did you guys use the bootstrap template for your website and how did you get all of the like really cool animations? Because first of all, it looks amazing. Um, are the animations in like a CSS file, or how did you guys just like get it? To so for the like basic for the big layout, we used a Bootstrap, but then we found like smaller things like um, I think the generate button. It's uh, we found it on another site and we modified it a little bit. The Teams page is another separate Bootstrap that we modified how it works, yeah. like yeah. everything. A just lot of it is a lot of things we liked and added added it onto it. Yeah, a lot of it is templates that we manipulated to our liking. Right, and with the um, animations for like the scroll triggering and stuff, we used um, all already uh, made libraries. One of them it's called GSAP, which is like an animation library. Uh, scroll trigger is another one, and for the how it works page, locomotive scroll. Was the, uh, just the most of the templates we use is about this menu bar and this site navigation. That's about the website template we only use. The other part is all we collected or some editing, especially for car battle. We write all whole logic ourselves on JavaScript. So, wow. All right, any one last question for this team? I don't if necessarily any. have a question, but I must unmute my mic and say, how good this looks. Within three weeks, y'all generated something that is absolutely amazing. And for that, I must say congratulations because Thank this you. is awesome. Thank you so much. With that, hey, good job, folks. Thank you, guys. Also, I want to shout out CodePen. If y'all don't know what CodePen is, it's a website. Oh, yeah. has a bunch of cool well, elements. Well, much easier. Everyone's fueled by CodePen nowadays. <laughs> oh, yeah.